If you use Canva to sell digital products and make passive income, you gotta watch these 10 Canva features that every digital product seller needs. By the way, my name's Amanda. I'm a designer who helps people create digital products using Canva and Amazon KDP. Make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. So the first time-saving tip is magic resize. Thanks to Canva's new updates, you could actually add different size designs within one document. So I'm gonna show you how I resize my Etsy mockups into Pinterest pins within the same design. So first click on grid view. What we wanna do is select the individual design, right click, resize page. So I'm gonna select Pinterest pin, but you could add a custom size design or search for a particular size. So I'm just gonna restructure it a little for the document size. Then resize any additional mockups and you could actually pin it directly from Canva. So the next time saving tip is to use Canva's brand kit. So this gives you easy access to your logos, your brand colors, any types of brand fonts, photos you use, even product images. This way you don't have to search through the abyss of your uploads folder. So to customize the brand kit, click on the little brand icon on the home dashboard. And this is where you could upload all of your assets for easy access. The next tip is the tried and true background remover. So anytime I have white backgrounds in my images, I could easily click on the BG remover and it removes the background and looks much cleaner. Anytime I create digital stickers using Canva's AI, I like to remove the background and maybe add a subtle shadow so it gives more of a realistic design. So this is another great use case for it. The next feature I love to use is Bulk Create. So this powerhouse feature lets you create dozens and dozens of designs within a matter of seconds. So I wanna show you how to create 50 digital stickers fast. I found this really cute post-it note and photos. And what's great about Canva is you can easily update a lot of image colors right now by just selecting the color up here. And I'm going to select one of my brand colors. And then I just want to add a simple affirmation. So we're gonna be using Magic Write to help us come up with all of these affirmations. So add text, select the little icon, and then click on Magic Write. And under custom prompt, I'm going to ask it to create 49 affirmation quotes. No more than three words each. Don't include bullets or numbers. And then click the little submit icon. So it's going to generate an entire list. I'm gonna click replace. So I can literally just copy that entire list by clicking Command C or Control C or right click copy. And then I'm gonna delete this extra page. Under apps, do a search for bulk create. Click enter data manually. Make sure you clear the table. Add a title here, this is super important. And then select this first cell and then paste that entire list. Click done. So I'm gonna select the words, right click connect data and then select the affirmation list. Click continue. Then you will see a list of all the individual designs that it will create within this document. Click generate. And as you can see, it created all the stickers. It created 47, but you can easily add a few more in there. Then double check to make sure some of the words aren't overflowing. You could easily just resize individual words. But it literally did all of the work for you. So all you have to do is click share, download, and download these as transparent PNGs. And again, this is a pro feature. Now I'm gonna walk you through the free tools and even shortcuts that really speed up my design process. So I love using Canvas AI. You could locate DreamLab by just clicking on the home button and then clicking on Canva AI. So I'm gonna show you how I created my own custom cover graphic for my digital planner. So first we're gonna click create an image, then under aspect ratio, select 916. And for the style, you can really choose whatever you like, but I'm going to leave it as is. And then I'm going to add the prompt to create a colorful flower background with turquoise and red. So it came up with four different options. You could select one, and when you select one, it actually gives you the option to upscale it. So this way the graphic will be much more crisp and not as blurry. It looks a lot clearer, so I'm gonna click open in editor. So it opened a new design with the graphic. So I wanna add this image on the cover of one of my digital planners. So this is from my starter kit, which you could access by clicking on the link in the description. You can easily customize these and sell them as your own. So I'm gonna paste this graphic on the cover and resize it so it fits nicely. 
Then under position, I'm just going to move some of the elements behind so that way the text comes up to the front. And I also wanna add a little rectangle so that way it's easy to read the words. So Canva will actually pull colors from an image or a graphic. So this way you could make sure your design is cohesive in terms of the colors. So I'm gonna update the background now a little lighter. So this way the cover pops. So the next tool that not a lot of people use, but I think is very necessary are rulers and guides. So to activate this, go to file settings, show rulers and guides, and you'll see the ruler on the left and the top. And then if you click and drag over the ruler, it activates a guide, which you could snap to your design. And it shows up on every page. So this way you can make sure all of your designs are consistent in terms of placement. And you could also lock them. This way, as you're clicking and dragging around your design, they don't move anywhere. This next time saver is something that I use every day keyboard shortcuts. This is definitely going to speed up your design process. Instead of going to elements and finding the lines, what you can do is just press L on your keyboard and that will activate a line. And to make sure you stretch it out without it becoming all wonky, you wanna press shift on your keyboard. So this way the lines stay straight. And then to duplicate this, what you can do is you can click Command D or Control D. And then before it's deselected, I'm gonna grab this little arrow and position it where I want it. And then I'm gonna click Command D or Control D again several times. And then this will space out the lines perfectly on my document. Other shortcuts I like to use are pressing R to activate a square. So this way I could just easily create a rectangle super fast. Press C to activate a circle. If you wanna add text super quickly, just press T and it will add a text box directly to your design. Let's say I wanna select all of these lines and just move them up a bit. What I'll do is I'll click and drag over everything and then I'll select Shift to deselect the paper. So now we have everything selected. To group them, select Command G or Control G. So the next tool that saves me a ton of time are page numbers. Instead of manually having to add page numbers to something like an ebook that you're selling, you could actually click on the text icon and select page numbers. So these will automatically add page numbers to the entire design, which is a huge time saver. It gives you a few options on how to display them, but I'm gonna select numbers only. Make sure to deselect the cover so that way it doesn't include the page number in the cover. And then if I scroll down, you have all of your pages right here. So this next tip can really help you if you struggle with finding good color palettes or font combinations. So go to the design tab in the top left and under the styles tab, you will see a mix of color combinations and font combinations. You can even access your brand colors if you have brand kits set up. You could also select different color palettes and then different font sets. So let's say I click on this combination right here. So it updates the colors and the fonts right away. Keep clicking on that same combination. It will shuffle between the different colors. And then if you only want to update the fonts, you could select from these pre-made font sets. So this is just a quick way to rebrand something without having to waste tons of time selecting individual fonts and colors. So this next tool can help you create beautiful digital product mockups. If you go under apps and search for mockups, you'll see tons of different images with devices in use and each of those devices include a frame. So if you select one of the mockups, upload a JPEG of one of your designs and then hover it above the frame so it snaps directly inside the frame and it looks like a realistic mock-up. So this can really elevate your mock-up listings and make them look very professional. So if you wanna save even more time, I actually created a digital planner starter kit, which includes dozens of digital planner pages in Canva that you can edit, customize, and resell. Let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video and you're interested in more time-saving Canva tips.